All right, let's get back into the R211s with the differences between the R211A and Ts. The R211A and T classes share identical propulsion systems, trucks, suspension, and brakes. The primary differences lie in the design features around the gangway itself. One notable feature of the R211T is the inclusion of undercar inspection lights, or UCIL, sometimes referred to as ditch lights. These lights are installed underneath all R211T open gangway revenue cars to illuminate the area for train operators during walk-around inspections in dimly lit environments, a feature not available on the A or S models. Another unique feature of the R211T is the absence of train crew access to the roadbed between cars due to the gangway and bellows design. Instead, a side ladder is provided at L3, L4 and R3, R4 door layouts of the car, offering access to the roadbed from inside the cars. The gangway connection itself utilizes structural attachment points and diaphragm plates, which are metal plates at the ends of each car body. These plates provide a robust structural attachment point for the bellows and gangway connection. They are designed to handle load transfers when the train accelerates, brakes, or turns, ensuring the overall structural integrity of the train. Overall, these cars are being used to test open gangway configurations in the NYCT system for future orders. One significant challenge for the 20 cars currently in service is ensuring fire suppression safety and evacuation egress especially on sections of lines with longer distances between stations of four minutes or more, which has limited their operation primarily to the Charlie or C train. However, the cars meet fire resistance standards under NFPA 130 sections 8.4 and 8.5. It will be interesting to see how open gangways evolve in future subway designs and solutions. Until our next Subways IO short, I'm Ashley signing off.